Everybody should have to walk that hall. Everybody should see what's going on, really. This whole process kind of set me on this path of something I knew, I just knew I wanted to help people. Because I feel like I was put back here for a reason. I guess she got the flu. Uh, we thought the flu, she was ill, missed school, was out a couple days, running a high fever, um, took her to a pediatrician, escalated to the emergency room, and they also just did testing and uh, again thought it was the flu. Well, this is why it's a little difficult to pick this up and treat aggressively because it might just be flu-like symptoms. Sepsis is one of the most common causes of death in the world. It's an infection that a it gets into the bloodstream, affects lots of organs, and in the most severe case, kills one out of every three people that get it. All her muscles had all lost their tone and, and she was not able to use her hands, not able to walk, her organs are failing, and the, those lesions are appearing on her, on her arm. They have what looks like bruising and darkened uh, fingers and toes. Many people will lose limbs um, with sepsis and this happens over a progression of just a few hours. We were worried about Hillary, period. I'm just really thankful to be here and able to be a medical student here. I just can't say thank you enough. These are some pretty uh, dramatic abnormalities, but as I sit and look at you, I mean, mm -hmm. you know, the story came out all right and you recovered, mm -hmm. uh, almost without residual. Mm -hmm. Dr. Falk is my clinical skills tutor, and she took time to, to go through my chart with me, my very large chart in my short time here at UNC. Was that from an art line? That was from the, the blisters. From the blisters? The chart. And then this Ooh. is my pick line right That here. was your pick line? Right there. Hopefully not everybody has to go through this. Right, <laughs> I wouldn't recommend this. Med school's awesome. It really is, and I love it, and I love everything about it. And and I love the people here in the community. And, and that's what I love about the field as well. There's always something to learn and there's always new people to meet. And there's always people that are challenging you to think outside the box medically and you know scientifically and also socially. Being active is a big part of my life and, um, and largely due to my experience here and the fact that you know, you're given one body and so I'm trying to make most of it. All right, are we ready to run? Ready? I ran this at this 5K, and so it was a really neat and um, rewarding process. I mean, how many people had the chance to come back around full circle like that? And that's just such a blessing. Three, two, one, go! I guess that's what's so great about being here today and to be at the race today for sepsis because it's like, yes, that you know, you really are trying to say, just look a little further, just a little bit more. It's a large part of who I am today and the path that I've chosen and the, um, the path to choose medicine and come back and train from physicians that served me in a way that I wouldn't be able to ever thank them enough. And the only way that I could think to come close would to be to follow in their footsteps and that's why I'm here. My name is Kate and I'm a second year medical student at UNC. I had the opportunity to go to East Africa for eight months and I served alongside medical missionaries there. That was an awesome time. My roommates were from Kenya.